Hi, it's Russ again. Welcome to another episode of Clockwork Goblin's Painting Table. Something a little different today. I'm not going to be talking about painting. I'm going to be talking about modelling bases. Uh, I've started a Retribution of Syra army. Here's my Warcaster, Ron. And I wanted to create some scenic bases for them. I had this notion of a series of Iosian ruins that they are stalking their enemies across. Now there are several companies making really nice scenic bases but I wanted to see if I could figure out a cheap and easy alternative and I'm quite happy with the results so I thought I'd share what I did with you today. So without further ado let's take a look at how I'm creating scenic bases for my models. So the secret to my scenic base technique is this a box of hard plaster although I must admit if you can get hold of resin plaster that's even better but a box of uh, hard plaster which is a uh, formulation of plaster of Paris that's more durable than normal one of these which is a, a takeaway Chinese food takeaway tub but any plastic flat bottom tub will do and we're ready to start I'm not going to demonstrate the techniques per se because I'm not going to be pouring plaster today but I'm going to talk you through what I did. So my first foray into scenic bases was to create a series of rocks for the base of this Behemoth Extreme Juggernaut conversion that I did for a friend. I could have used pebbles but this is what I did. I took my Chinese takeaway tray I mixed up my hard plaster and I poured about half an inch, three quarters of an inch of plaster into the bottom of the tray and left it to dry. Once it was dry I had a series of pieces that looked like this. So it came out as a single chunk, I gave it a good whack outside and it broke up creating this nice textured surface and leaving me with a whole series of easily workable chunks of plaster. The great thing about these is that they are easily trimmed, cut, scraped and shaped which gives them a little bit of an advantage over stones. The Behemoth base is just a series of chunks of that that I've used and then I got a little bit more fancy and using the end of a knife I scraped troll runes into this base for my Fenblade Commander because he's a little short compared to the other Fenblades and I wanted to give him something that would make him stand out. The total cost of producing these bases was about £3 and I've which is the money it cost me to buy the plaster and I've still got <coughs> excuse me I've still got about 8 tenths of the box left so so far so good. For the Iosians, I got a little bit more technical and I'll show you what I did now. Now for my retribution bases, I took a whole load of this stuff, some plastic card that I had in my conversion box. I took some of this, which is a grid patterned uh, plastic card sheet. And I got some stiff plastic card and I glued a whole load of offcuts to the surface. So uh, this is just uh, end pieces, shavings, strips and so on glued on to create a nice sort of techno artistic pattern. I then took this and mounted a piece of foam board to it using some gaffer tape. This gave me a frame that was just deep enough for my casting and the gaffer tape meant that the plaster wouldn't leak out the edges. I put that on a flat surface and I cast it. Poured plaster into there and left it to set overnight. The end result was this. Now I've had a few pieces off this one but you can see that all of the raised detail has now become indented detail. So I've got almost like paving slab like panels and other indented detail. Now once I'd cast this 
I began breaking pieces off and shaping them to fit. And the way I did this, if I turn this over, you can see I would mark the rough circle that I wanted on here and then snap that piece away. Often the pieces would break unevenly but that was fine, I was looking for a ruined look. So that piece would come away with this detail on it. Mounted to a base with super glue I got something like this. Here's one I've painted just to give you an idea of what it might look like. Now with this one I added the blue lights with a little lump of green stuff, green stuff circle with the end of a biro pressed into it. Just to give me some raised detail as well. This was a, a prototype I suppose you'd call it and I decided that that was too much like hard work so I haven't bothered with that for the rest of the models. They are all just on the plaster with a little sand around the edges to fill out the gaps. Painted and textured the bases look something like this. So, using some very cheaply bought plaster and a takeaway tray and some plaster card I'm able to create this and these and this. Now you might want to buy some of the very excellent bases that are available from companies out there. I intend to do so myself. But for a cheap and relatively quick and easy way of producing some scenic detail for your bases that you can then add to, mould to, glue things onto, I really do recommend this. One of the best things about this is the fact that it's really easy to carve into the surface additional detailing. So runes, faction symbols, any detail you can think of. Give it a go. It's not hard to do. It's not expensive and you can get some fantastic results. I hope you found this useful and as we gaze lovingly at the troll runes on my fen blade, I'd like to say thanks for listening, thanks for watching and good luck with your basing.